Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Within. It's your greasy girl, Phil. And today we thought we'd do something a little bit different. I'm gonna take you on a seven day skincare journey. <laughs> For each night, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I use, what it really means when I say it kind of depends on my mood and then the products that I pick for those days. Because also every day of the week is a little bit different. Sometimes we have more time, sometimes we have less time, sometimes we wake up and our skin is not the best, sometimes it is radiant. I thought it'd be really interesting to kind of walk you through all of that and show you guys what it really looks like for a person like me with oily, acne prone skin and share with you guys little tips on how I kind of read my skin and what I do on a weekly, daily, monthly basis. To be honest with you, most of the time at night, I'm just tired. <laughs> but personally, the nighttime routine is where I can get a little bit more playful as well because you are picking products for that regeneration. And it's the time of the day where I use ingredients like retinol and face masks, different kind of like hydrating serums and different toners. So let's get into it, day one. Hey guys, so we're starting off the week. It is Monday and I just got out of the shower. So let's do this thing. Can you see? I started breaking out randomly. So these are just the kind of marks left over. And I had some random like lip and chin pimples, which is why I think it might be hormonal related um, and also just like eating habits. Mondays are pretty tiring. When you're tired, you try to keep things simple, but I'll just show you what I used in the shower for cleansing. And you'll probably see in this week that I probably change cleansers the most <laughs> because it really does depend on my mood in the shower. So I use the Cioris Cleanse Me Softly Milk Cleanser, but I've been trying it out with the Cioris My Soft Grain Scrub. This is new to me. I only started using it a couple days ago and it's this kind of green powder so it's actually really soft and fine but it's not uniform it's kind of got these weird sized granules in it and what you do it says in the instructions is you actually put it into the milk cleanser when you like kind of mix it together and put it on your face it doesn't feel like a scrub whatsoever because it's actually a very soft kind of powder and it smells like whole wheat bread <laughs> on the face so yes that's what I washed my face with next I'm just going to spritz with this the Wamisa damask rose petal mist like the funny thing is you'll see me just kind of grab here when I'm lazy because anything that's within arm's reach when I'm tired is where it's at you know I just don't want to make decisions. I'm just going to grab what's closest to me. Okay, next I'm going to probably go into this one, which is from Schwannen Garden. And it's the Korean brand that we mentioned recently. And I've been using the Ample, which is really interesting because when you put it on, it's kind of a little bit like an oil and it's heated when I put it on my face. So I've been really enjoying this kind of like experience. So it's got a little bit of centella and a bunch of like, oh, oh my god, yeah, see, it's like hot. It kind of feels like a really nourishing oil. So with ampules and serums, I like to just leave a little bit of time in between before I go into like a moisturizer. And then while I do that, I'm still on the bandwagon of using a little bit of eye creams. I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Silk Peony. So this eye cream is actually quite firm, but it has a beautiful kind of pearlescent quality that subtly brightens. It's like almost pearly and reflective under the eye without being like really obvious. So what I like to do, because it's kind of firmer, I get a little bit on my fingertips, warm it up, and then just kind of 
dab it. This is more so for hydration. All right, so moving on to moisturizer, the last step of the night. I think I'm gonna go in with the Ven Age Reversing All in One Concentrate. So I'm gonna use this one because of the slight kind of like hyperpigmentation I have on the chin area just from like little breakouts. And this has a special ingredient known as compound k and if you guys haven't seen our previous video on ven you will be astounded at how it works because this compound k ingredient from the ginseng is on par with vitamin c but without giving you any of the irritation effects so that is the monday routine i'm tired it's 11 50. <laughs> So just a little glimpse into Mondays. Mondays are crazy because we have a bunch of meetings. We also got some new skincare delivered for the store. So I was unpacking that. Script writing for tomorrow's episodes. We have some jewelry coming out soon, again with Ana Luisa. And so there was a bunch of things to do there, which we're really excited about. Hopefully you guys like, you know, the necklace is still going strong. But anyway, I am rambling. Don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So let's all get some shut eye tonight. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night for tonight, guys. <laughs> Aloha, guys. So it is now day two. As you can see, I have the full face of makeup on. We finished filming so late today. It was like 7 o'clock by the time we finished. And honestly, I only put makeup on these days for filming. You know, like it goes from 0 to 100. <laughs> because actually in the studio, the lights take out a lot of the makeup. So you kind of have to make it a little bit more dramatic. So anyway, came home and I've been binging on Somebody Feed Phil, which is my favorite to show on Netflix because he is hilarious so let's go to the bathroom and start our skincare routine two step We meet again. I did just have a shower because that is what normal people do at the end of the day, I guess. Comment below if you shower at night or in the morning. Voila. Honestly, this isn't the cutest thing, but what it does is really help your hair just like dry really fast. And because I just want to get to bed right now, I want my hair to kind of like soak up nicely. Gonna spritz a spritz with the Wamisa Rose Mist. So the cleansing balm, that was the fig one. And that one's really good because as you can see when I was taking off my makeup, that like even if I open my eyes, that it doesn't sting. And it also took away my waterproof makeup and it just kind of like dissolved everything really nicely. And then, oh, by the way, I'm using this toner. The, my favoritos, Wonder Haru Haru Black Rice Hyaluronic. You guys know how much I love this one. So one of the brands that I've been meaning to try with Rowena is the 107, and this is their Dewy Glow Serum Mist. And I've been waiting for a day to use it, and today is the day. <laughs> oh my God, it is beautiful. Looks like this. Mmm. Mmm. There's rice ferment filtrate, much like the Haru Haru. There's rose water, peach fruit extract, and there's vinegar. Yes, it's the vinegar that is the kind of key ingredient that gives you really radiant and glowing skin. Mmm, it smells so good. It's like peachy. It's like peach water. Oh my god, my skin feels so nice and plump. And then I'm just going to use the Ven Age Reversing All-in-One Concentrate. And I'm only going to use like one, two pumps. I also have on my table my favorite body moisturizer. This is the L'Occitane Almond Milk Concentrate. And I've been using this forever and ever. I freaking love the scent. It is like a dream to my nostrils. 
and it's not too thick it just smells so divine and normally straight after the shower I'll just put this on to my kind of like towel dried body and the next day you just wake up feeling and smelling like a dream like a good almond dream so yes that is my way of sealing a good day and continuing watching my show all about food yay Ding, ding, ding. A general tip for if you're feeling a little flaky or combination is to really amp up on hydration. So look for anything with humectants like glycerin, hyaluronic acid, algaes. These are really great for kind of restoring the balance of hydration in our skin. And normally when I feel dehydrated, I'll go in with a really nourishing toner, which is why you'll see me kind of like changing up toners. Another night, another day of skincare. Okay, but first of all, it is really cold outside. And on days that the wind whips you in the face and you literally struggle to breathe, skincare is very important, but so is tea. And if you guys have never tried the Muji teas, this is the Muscat green tea and it's so good. And then I add a little bit of honey in there and it's like ah, perfect for winter days like this. So I washed my face earlier with the Tatcha rice wash and because it was so cold outside like I want to kind of put a soft plush pillowy cloud on my face and that is exactly what this rice wash is. It kind of lathers to this beautiful thick foamy like pillow. Oh, it's just so nice. So. I don't know if you can see, but I'm kind of starting to break out a little bit. And like in the shower earlier today, I saw that my chest and my back is really starting to break out as well. And that's a signal to me that my period is going to come, that it's hormonal because I always get it like maybe one to two weeks before my period. I start breaking out all over the back and on the chest. And then I'll see little like things on my face. So the other day I grew one here. I also have another one like it was somewhere here and then these ones came up. Usually at these times, that's when I'll use my Curology. Excuse my voice, I don't know what happened to it. It's just really dry. I need to get myself a new humidifier because I wake up and I'm like Aah! So yes, excuse the manly voice. So on days that I use my Curology, I want to balance it out with really hydrating toners and essences because this cream is not very nourishing. Let's start off with this beautiful thing, you shake a shaker. So this one has argan oil and rose flower oil and it's a little bit different to the first one. I feel like this it doesn't feel as oily as the first mist. And then petting it in. And then I'll go in with my favorite, favorite mugwort essence. This one I feel like works really well. I always use it together with the Curology because mugwort just helps to calm down redness or inflamed skin. It only has one ingredient, it's just like the mugwort. I feel like it works perfectly with anything like chemical exfoliants or even retinol to really soothe and prep your skin. All the way down the neck. So I let that kind of first layer dry a little bit and then I'm just going to go in with the second one. It just feels so good. It's like... And then, keeping it simple, I don't really go in with a serum or anything like that. Straight on to the Curology. So that's this one. When I first received it, I used to use it every night and that was kind of when my skin was still really breaking out. Maybe even after a week, I could see that my skin had considerably like evened out. But now I just use it once every two or three weeks or just whenever I feel that my skin is starting to act up a little. Okay, and then on the areas that have like active kind of pimples, I'll go in and spot treat with the Paula's Choice BHA 9. This is my holy grail, can't live without it because every time I feel anything come up at all, then I'll just kind of go over it 
with this. It's a clear gel and the amazing thing is that it doesn't dry your skin out because it has this almost oily carrier substance. So instead of kind of like those drying lotions that really do dry out your skin, this one actually keeps that hydrated. And you can also put this over the nose or where you have kind of like congestion, blackheads, whiteheads because BHA really does help to dissolve it. Highly recommend. That's about it. Oh, lip. My three favorites are the Fresh. I've used like three of these because I love it that much. It's just smells divine, consistency I really love, and then there's the Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. The consistency of this one is very similar to this one. Yeah, it's actually not greasy like Vaseline, which is why I enjoy it. And then if you're looking for something that's in between kind of like a balm and a gloss, there's also the Then I Met You Honeydew Lip Mask. So normally I don't need to use a lip mask. My lips aren't that dehydrated. I use this purely because I love honeydew. Honeydew boba milk tea. And it's also got squalane, vitamin E, and a little bit of lactic acid for gentle exfoliation. So guys, by the way, this is our jersey shirt, remember? It's still available if you guys want it. There's also a blue one that Rowena loves. I kind of match the white one a little bit more, so. Okay, also guys, I want to show you, I found this cute humidifier on Amazon. And I was just looking for like a teeny little one. And I think this is perfect. So it's 25 bucks. I've added it to my cart. I was tossing up between that one and this one. This one's a little smaller, 780. This is 2.5 liters, so this is considerably larger. But I think this one's a good. So let's just save that for later. Proceed to check out. I am going to put through this order and we shall have it, hopefully, in the next day. Couple of days? Yes. Just thought I'd share that with you before I go to bed. So guys, this is day four, I believe. I hope you guys have been having fun with me and my skin. So in the shower today, I used the Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I love this one. It's got camellia and chamomile, so all the ingredients are super soothing. I think this one also has the peach extract and centella asiatica, but it's just the perfect consistency. It's like a beautiful translucent gel. And then while I was in the shower, I was like, you know what? I haven't used this Honeymoon Glow Serum in a really, really long time. But because I'm kind of leading up to period, I know this is like a problematic time. So I actually want to try this again after not using it for more than a year and see how I feel about it now. So because I'm going to use this, which is like 14%, it's pretty high in HA. I think it's glycolic acid as well as lactic acid. I'm gonna go in first with my favorite toner just to give it some hydration. I'm not gonna use anything new because I really want to see how the serum plays on my face and my skin now. And I'm just gonna, I really enjoyed this from the other day so I'm just gonna mist that on too. Now going in with the Honeymoon Glow. Pharmacy is one of my absolute favorite brands. So like, I was actually thinking of using the Curology again tonight, but then I thought of this and I'm like, I wanna use this instead of the Curology because I feel like the chemical exfoliants can also kind of just shed away and slough away the dead skin, which might be causing breakouts. And then I feel like using the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle. Also one of my favorites, as you can tell. I actually brought this home with me when I went to Australia. Anytime you travel and you bring something with you, you know that's pretty important. I like it because the consistency is so beautiful. And it spreads so easily. It's so smooth. It really is like a souffle. Love it. And then today I feel like using some eye cream 
and I'm going to go into the Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. So this one, I love the consistency. It's like a cream, but it's very like spreadable and it's just the perfect consistency. I love the entire fresh black line so much if I haven't told you guys already. So that is my simple face routine. Actually, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna use a little bit more of the Paula's Choice. Okay, so guys, we are now officially done day four. Hope you guys are enjoying it and I'll see you very soon. Good night. So on days that we feel a little bit more congested, maybe you feel a pimple kind of starting to rear its ugly head, or you're feeling a little crusty. Like for me, I kind of notice it around the nose and also the chin area. There'll be kind of like drier patches and then my T-zone is really oily. That's when I'll go into the chemical exfoliating ingredients, whether that's in the form of a mask, as you can see, or a chemical exfoliating toner. And what that does for me is really kind of just even out the skin so that it stays hydrated, but the chemical exfoliating ingredients are really helping to slough off and shed the dead skin that could be like cooping up in the pores, causing the breakouts. And then I'll automatically go to something that has BHA or even AJ together with it, um, because for me, that's like a preventative measure. Aloha guys, so it is a Friday night and I just want to show you what came in. Ta-da! Remember how the other day I bought a humidifier? Well, it came and it is so cute. Look at it. I couldn't help myself but to like open it before because it came during the day. So, sorry guys. Um, but it's so pretty. It's like rose gold and then you turn on the light and then it like, it has a light. I haven't really quite figured out yet. Um, how this contraption works. You know what? Let's do this later. I'm going to be very excited to have this huffing and puffing next to my bed tonight. Okay, and then second of all, starting with another tea today, and because it's been like kind of dry, I want to like wind down, I chose the fresh lemon and ginger tea which is one of the ones that we're trialing for the store because you guys know that we stock tea and i love my teas i just thought ginger and lemon would be really great for my throat my dry crackly throat and i just added a little bit of honey in there because it's time to wind down after a long week am i right <laughs> so i just wash my face you know i just want to watch my shows call it a night light a candle enjoy my life not need to wash my hair every day because tomorrow is Saturday so just let me enjoy my life. So I think I'm gonna go in with the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Essence Water. Ro and I really love this because first of all ginseng is a great ingredient that has been around for thousands of years. It's kind of like the green tea Benton toner where you can just keep layering it on and the skin is feeling plump and happy already. Usually when I'm breaking out, I'll be tossing up between these two. The Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid or the Naturium Vitamin C Super Serum Plus. We'll go in with this one today. So it's kind of like this milky yellow consistency. And this has got the concoction of vitamin C, retinoid, salicylic acid, niacinamide, and it does kind of leave a slightly sticky feeling on the face, but a trick is just to kind of give it a few moments and that will kind of like disappear. Okay, so now you can see it's like sunk into the skin. I think I'm gonna go in with a sleeping mask tonight because I don't know, Friday night, I want to feel nourished and protected, so I'll go in with the Iunique Propolis Vitamin Sleeping Mask. You guys know I love Propolis as my kind of like all-star ingredient. So this texture is really nice. It's not oily, it's almost kind of like a whipped, moussey texture, which I thoroughly enjoy. If I'm using these kind of heavy hitting ingredients in the serum, I just want to balance that out with a really gentle and nourishing 
nourishing moisturizer. And then, because I still want to tackle the breakouts that are going on, dab my little 9% BHA on there. Okay, guys, that is my kind of simple Friday night skincare routine. Okay, so now let's fill this baby up with some water and I shall be back. Really hope I'm doing this right. <gasps> it's so pretty! And then you press it once and the steam comes out! Oh my god, this is the most cutest thing I've ever bought! So there's two different light settings. This is the dim one for nighttime. Let's try it. Oh my goodness, this is so cute! This is one of the better purchases that I have gotten lately. So yes, I am going to enjoy Hey guys, I'm gonna watch some cooking shows maybe and um, call it a night. So I hope you guys take time to wind down during the night and take some time to digest the week. Spend some quality time with yourself. Good night. Sunday, it's the end of the week. Let's light a candle in celebration of surviving seven days. Ding. So, I actually just woke up from a nap. Good old Sundays gives you time for a nap. And then I showered and we're here. And today's the last day of our skincare journey. And I have a little confession. <laughs> I actually forgot to film yesterday's routine because I don't know, I just forgot I was even doing this thing. And it was kind of late and I was enjoying my shows and it was like time for bed already. So I apologize, but I have rounded up what I did use yesterday. So I will show you that. So I actually went in with a mask. This is my favorite mask to use on the weekend. I use it once a week. It's the Peach and Lily Super Reboot Resurfacing Mask. It's got AJ, BHJ, and also Blue Agave, which makes it this color. And it's the best. It's like the glowiest face mask you will ever use in your life. And I like using this at the end of the week because I kind of feel like it's just degunking my entire face from the previous five days and kind of setting it up for the next week. You just leave this on for about 10 minutes. Sometimes you feel a little tingling when you first apply it, but it's my favorite. And now I feel like my face is nice and plush. And then I went in with the Wanda Haru Haru Toner, my favorite, because on weekends, that's when I like to play around and layer a little bit more hydrating products because I have a bit more time. And then I went in with the Beauty of Joseon. This is the Ginseng Snail Mucin. I love it. I always use it. It might not seem like it because I've been a little experimental this week, but I do use their serums quite often. And then I went in with this. This is the Then I Met You Calming Tide Gel Cream. So I haven't really spoken about this one um, on the channel before because we actually recently just got sent this. So I was kind of trying it out. So it comes out like a really watery kind of condensed milk consistency. It just like sinks so quickly into the skin and I really do enjoy it but I think I'm only going to be using this more in the summer because it is so lightweight or I'll use it when I have a thicker serum maybe. Basically I'm going to use this more when it's hotter because it's a little bit too lightweight for the winters now especially at night when I want something a bit more like Um, yes, so that is my story. Let me turn on my light. Voila, there is light. Okay.
day. And then on Sundays, that's really like me time. So sometimes I'll wake up and just not even do anything for a solid like three hours and then make some food because then I realize I'm dying of starvation. Okay, so as you guys know, I really love my fresh. So I'm going in with that and I use this on days that I want to self-care. So it's like this beautiful watery essence. And I don't normally talk a lot about this one, even though I truly love it. Oh, and it's the smell. Oh, it just makes me feel so happy. It's got fermented black tea. It's got green tea and a slew of other ingredients that I can't remember right now. And it's so hydrating. I love the whole black tea line. So just a little pointer, you know how like I love splashing on layers and layers of these toner hydrating essences? With this one, I'll stick to one to two because there is a little bit of fragrance in it and that doesn't irritate my skin whatsoever. But for those of you who are interested in that, but maybe you have more sensitive skin, then yeah, you can just keep that in mind. And then I'm going to use the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. So the theme of like Sundays is really just prepping my skin with a lot of hydration as well as kind of like enjoyable self-care skincare to really just prepare me for the next week because it's a rough. Ro and I both love this hyaluronic serum so much. It's probably one of my favorites and her favorites. The consistency is just beautiful. It just like glides over the skin. Like you instantly feel plump and hydrated. It's kind of amazing all down the neck. The good thing about wearing these robes is like you feel that you can travel down the neck and the decolletage really easily. I mean, I don't know why that's hard if I wear normal stuff, but huh. you just feel more inclined to, you know? And pretty simple. I'm going in with one of my ultimate favorites. This is the Sioris You Look Young Night Cream. And the reason why I haven't been using this all week is because I've been saving it. I only have this much left and I'm so sad. Um, but this is really my favorite. Um, because of the texture, it's just so beautiful. It's not greasy, it's not slippery, it's not overly shiny, it's like almost firm kind of moisturizer but when you spread it over it's like it melts into this delicious creamy smooth texture the only thing to note <laughs> is that if you guys are sensitive to like scents like you can't take a scent this one's got the tamanu oil which is really great for hyperpigmentation which is why I want to use it today because it really brightens the skin it evens it out it helps with acne marks and you know just brightening overall but it does smell like tomato oil and it's kind of like medicinal herbs it's like chinese medicinal apothecary but you know after you work it in like now it's already gone to me it's like gone obviously you can still smell it on your fingers but it just smells earthy so it's really not that bad this is my absolute favorite so saving the best for last and then going in with this eye cream because why not it's Sunday. Another really great eye cream is the Curito Centella one. Oh my god, that texture is so beautiful. It's lighter weight than this. And then I'm gonna go in with my cute little Tatcha Bubble Lip Mask. This is the Kisu Lip Mask. And it's like a gel. And I think you guys might have realized throughout this week, or if you haven't already, that my nail color <laughs> changes like every 2.3 days because I just want to try a different color all the time. So um, now it's blue. blue, blue, blue. It's like baby blue. Let's just spray a little bit of this on there. Sierra is falling into the mist. Truly at a spa. <laughs> I love Sundays. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed it, what you want to see more of. Every week does 
chop and change but these are kind of the products that I'll rotate around with and none of it was sponsored it won't be I want to keep this as real and raw as possible and um, Rowena will be doing one very soon so thank you so much for following with me this week it was so fun and yes remember to take care of yourselves and treat your body your mind and your skin right and your skin cells will be dancing they'll be dancing <laughs>